After six long months of bitter cold and darkness, the sun returns to the Antarctic sky. As the heat from the sun grows stronger, penguins of all species begin a period of intense activity, courting, incubating eggs, and raising chicks. With one exception, the emperor penguins. In mid-September, adult emperors are in the final stage of raising their young, busy developing the instincts the chicks will need to survive immersion in the frigid waters of the Southern Ocean, a shock that is frequently fatal to these little ones. Snow Hill, like the vast majority of known emperor rookeries, rests on sea ice, with nothing but the icy waters of the ocean below. As the sun heats up, the ice that supports the rookeries begins to weaken. By early December, the emperor rookeries have disappeared. The unique life cycle of the emperors makes observing the chicks in their natural habitat a real challenge. In 2004, Quark Expeditions identified the current location of the world's most northerly emperor rookery, near Snow Hill Island in the Weddell Sea. Because Snow Hill feels the effects of the sun later than most other rookeries, development of the chicks is slightly delayed. This delay enables a visit to the rookery while the chicks are still in the care of their parents from late October to the end of November. The Waddell Sea is choked with ice so thick that it requires a polar-class icebreaker equipped with onboard helicopters to reach the rookery. The captain parks the icebreaker on the ice edge. To ensure the birds are not disturbed, visitors are flown by helicopter to a landing site about a mile and a half away. If you go, be alert for adult emperors tobogganing past in single file, intent on returning to the sea to feed. The sound of emperors and their chicks calling to each other will be the first clue that you are close to your goal. An intimate three-day visit in the wild with emperor penguins and their chicks is only possible near Snow Hill Island in the Waddell Sea.